sorts today. There we go. We're all back together. So, thank you, my friends, for joining me for yet another episode of Squeaky 7 First Impressions. Today, we will be picking a random game, as always, and checking it out to see what we can find. So, without further ado, our game of the day is... I have no fucking idea. So, for quite some time, I have been putting off redoing this program. I, I hope you notice, it's pretty fucking ugly. Like, I can make this much better. Ah, I just haven't done it. Usually when I get in the mood to record a video, I just go, major problem with it is I knew for a fact that if the name was too long, it was going to do this. So I have no fucking idea what this is. It looks like Reese's Odyssey or something like that, a.k.a. Dahi Zizu. Um, couldn't tell you. So this is going to involve me looking through all of these fucking things, because I don't know what letter it starts with. So give me just a minute here, folks. Okay, it is called the Chinese Odyssey, a.k.a. a.k.a. Da Hua Zi Yu. Well, okay. Mars Production has brought us this fine video game. What? Is this the game I think it is? Oh, we'll see in a minute. I don't know. I'm going to hold my judgment. I think this might be a game, a very specific game that I was just talking about, strangely, if it's true. So, I mean, we can watch this, I guess. But I'm not going to be able to read it, so it's not really giving me much. We'll watch a few more still frames. Just drink some water. Oh, well, it's over. Anyways, Chinese Odyssey. Okay. It looks like your classic uh, RPG-style game. Lots of text. We'll use our auto-clicker. Um, okay, I'm this guy. No, you're selling me shit. I don't want it. I think I just bought a million of them, but whatever. <laughs> okay. You've got probably something important to say, but I can't fucking... I can't figure it out. So we're in a town. We need to get the fuck out of this town if I've learned anything about doing RPGs. The first town you started is never where you want to stay. So let's see how we can exit. Um, I don't know if I should go around and loot everything. Like, I can talk to all these guys. That's the problem. I did another game like this very recently, actually, um, where I couldn't understand the language. It was an RPG, and like talking to everyone, I don't know if it's necessary, but it doesn't do anything for me. Like, <laughs> I would skip it all if I could, but I like it. Some of those things are triggers. You know what I mean? It might not be able to get out until I talk to everyone. It might hit a dead end if I don't talk to certain guys. You know how RPGs work. We've all been there, stuck on something, not knowing where to go next. We're just gonna leave, though. Fuck it. Um, cool change of music. Is that me? Do I have a gun or something? Oh no, that's an enemy. That's some sort of brigand. And that is a pissed off stump. So we'll kill him first. We can attack, we can magic, we can item, and we can run, it looks like. I don't know. Well, that looks like a... This is definitely just base attack, so let's see what we got for magic. We got this collection of characters, which does fire damage. Excuse me, folks, I have a bit of a cough right now, but I'll, I'll edit that out so you don't hear me coughing in your fucking face there. Um, we also have 17 of this item, probably the thing I fucking bought. Looks like it healed me a little bit or something. I don't know. I appear to have 8 out of 50 health left, though, so I'm probably fucked. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say I'm fucked. But we can kill people quite easily with our fire, so maybe I'm not, who knows. And this, this, is, this guy's a fucking stump. He should burn up like nothing. Yeah, that's right. That is right. So, yeah, we got another RPG experience. This is not the game I thought it was, by the way. Um, when I first opened this game in the opening scene where he was holding the, the, I guess you would call it like a bow staff, it reminded me of, um, there's this one game whose name I can't remember. I don't think it was... A Chinese Odyssey, and that was kind of holding me back, too. But, um, it had, like, this name. I can't remember what they called it in America. But basically, it was Dragon Ball Z. It came out in Japan as Dragon Ball Z. There was Goku and stuff. 
Uh, I'm not really super familiar with Dragon Ball Z, so excuse me. But I know at least Goku was the main character you do, you, you, um, play as. And there were a bunch of other characters from the show whose faces I could recognize, but whose names I could not tell you. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, so they did that in Japan, and it was, whatever, moderately successful or whatever, and they ported it to America, and they thought that America wouldn't get the Dragon Ball Z reference, because it wasn't popular here yet. So instead, they just changed all the names of the characters to other things, and like, loosely changed the storyline. But from what I understand, it's your quest to go get fucking Dragon Balls, basically, as Goku, is still the the game, but they just changed what the Dragon Balls were called and what all the characters were named. So it's kind of interesting. You have like a the original Dragon Ball Z licensed game on NES, but they're just trying their hardest not to reference Dragon Ball Z because they didn't think we'd get it, not knowing that it would catch on like crazy probably in a few years. I have no idea what it, the exact time dis difference, but yeah, it's kind of interesting, right? Like, you would never think of them trying to remove ties to the Dragon Ball Z license now because it's probably just fucking free money. Why do I have 999 and 999? What the fuck is going on? Hold on. Well, I guess we'll go in here first. Oh, this is so useless. Ah. Uh. It's tough. It's tough playing an untranslated game. Oh, hold on one second. I'm gonna grab a sip of water while we kill these guys. Just an auto kill. Why do I have 999 health and 999 life? That's ridiculous. Sorry, like I said, I had a cough. My throat's kind of dry, so I need to I need to keep hydrated here, folks. It's a serious business. This LP and <laughs> you don't want to fucking run yourself ragged on an LP. All right, what's in this basement? Uh, tigers. Tigers and regular colored stumps for some reason. Still have ridiculous amounts of HP and MP. Pretty much can't die. No fucking idea why I'm like some sort of demigod right now. <laughs> like, when did that happen? What did I do that triggered infinite life and infinite damage? Like, that's fucking ridiculous. How poorly programmed is this game? Or did I, is that a part of the game? Cause that's even weirder. That looks like a fuzzle from Neopets. <laughs> An evil fuzzle in particular. I don't know if you, anyone here is familiar with Neopets, but I definitely played some Neopets when I was younger. Back in the day. Oh man, I was restocking some hand-painted scarabs. Playing some Neo slots. <laughs> It was probably 10 years ago. Longer. It's, it's gotta be like, my account's probably 11 or 12 years now. Um, I don't really play anymore, obviously, but it was a long time ago, but I still have it. Like, I'll always have that account. I kinda like that kind of stuff, going back and checking on it every couple of years. Being like, oh, look at all this cool shit in my bank. <laughs> or my safety deposit box, rather. Uh, anyone here? No one but the Neopets? Uh... I don't know why I'm saying no one, like there's just no one speaking up. You guys usually don't speak up. Every once in a while I'll hear you all in my head, but not usually. <laughs> but yeah, did anyone play Neopets when they were younger or maybe still plays it right now? I mean, it's still a solid game. It's got, kind of gone through some changes of ownership, but uh, the base game is just as fun as ever. Just a little bit over-commercialized now with fucking sponsors and free spins on the wheel of fucking Walmart or something stupid like that, which they've always done to a degree, but it gets worse and worse as time goes on, less people care, and more shitty companies buy it. Like, the people that originally programmed it just don't own it anymore. I think the final last bit of them was sold to Jumpstart. Um, Jumpstart that... <laughs> they did, like, Jumpstart first grade or something like that. Uh, I don't know if you remember those games. Jump, 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 start first grade jump. I can still remember the fucking the song. I got it when I was in first grade, I think. Either it was me or my sister that got it when she was in first grade, so I might have been in fourth grade when I was playing it, but I think it was for me. I just don't know exactly when it came out, if the timing works out. 
Yeah, me, me and my roommate, uh, let's call him DZ. Yeah, I usually refer to them as DZ and Master P just so you can keep them apart, but, um... Yeah, so my roommate DZ and me used to fucking play that game all the time when we were kids. We go fucking way back, so... <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I can't... I literally, I could probably... I should speedrun that game. That's what I should do. I think there's an ending to the point where you can get... Well, the only thing you can really do is fill out your book of... You had a book of pogs in that game. Which, I'm just getting so many fucking nostalgic memories. I'm on, like, a chain of nostalgic memories right now. Because pogs were another thing that I had when I was a fucking kid. I used to go to... Redacted. And buy them out of a big-ass fucking tub. In the middle of the store, you could grab, like, a bag full for a dollar. Because they were selling you just pieces of little cardboard that were printed. But yeah, Pogs? Anyone remember fucking Pogs? <laughs> Pogs, Neopets, or your Jumpstart first grade? Anyone remember any of these fucking nostalgic things? So ridiculous. Like, I don't know why those all triggered at once, but... That was quite the rush. <laughs> that's what happens when you play a game that's unengaging, right? You just kind of fucking, your mind wanders. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna call about this game. And that's not really the fault of the game, so much as it is A, the genre of the game, which is JRPG. It's just boring. I'm sorry. I like it. I think I'm going backwards now. I think I got turned around. Oh, maybe not. Anyways, JRPG, I enjoy the style, but it's just a boring style to play. It's very uninteractive. No, no Twitch-based reflexes in this. But uh, it's all just fucking turn-based. Oh, I hit him, he hit me, I hit him. You never have to react, so you can kind of like get lazy. And the fact, the second fault is that I can't read the language. Which again, is not the fault of the game. You fucking fuzzle. Yeah, not the fault of the game, but um... Doesn't help in keeping me engaged any less. <laughs> so I think we've seen about enough of this, I mean... Yeah, I think we're gonna cut this off pretty soon. I'm gonna see if I can find a boss to this area really quick. Uh, let's just start running. Can I not run from tigers? I can outrun a fucking tiger. Come on. See, like, what What even is that? You go down and you come in sideways? That doesn't even make sense. Bad perspectiving. Um, I'm not sure if this is a real game. It could, uh, it's called the Chinese Odyssey. It could be another one of those bootlegs games. It says unlicensed, so it could be one of those really um, poorly made bootlegs that are just like a clone of another game where they change the text. So I'm going to look it up on eBay now. Let's see how much this thing's worth. Sorry about the lag, folks. I'm never going to fix it. I'm, I'm just going to come clean. I don't fucking care. <laughs> it's Actually, I do care. It pisses me off every single time, but... I can't, I can't fix it. I can't fucking fix it. I don't know what to do. So we got a Chinese Odyssey NES. It's like not even coming up. Zero results. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, well, I should probably look up the actual fucking, the actual name for it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Da -wa -u. I need a second computer, actually. That would be good. Could be one of those fucking editing masters. I'm like, editing on this computer and fucking recording on. No, no, I'm not doing that. Um, a bunch of shit comes up that's Chinese, vaguely Chinese. None of it's video games. I don't know what those words mean, but they are in different combinations in other Chinese products. I'll tell you that much. So I have no idea what this is worth. Um, I mean, that doesn't really make too much of a difference. I, if it was a game, it probably would be super expensive because it's unlicensed and like it looks like one of those shitty little games that like 40 people still have a copy of because they bought it at some weird bootleg market. So it would probably only hurt it to be a real game. It might even be a real game that's so rare that it's just not on eBay. So, um, yeah. I mean, again... Keeping in mind that this is from the point of view, the rating is from the point of view of me buying this game for myself, assuming that you could even buy it, and it's a reasonable price. Um, it's going to receive heavy hits for not being in a language that I can understand, and being an RPG. I said this in the last, in the last uh, review, you need to be able to read these things, because the biggest part about them 
is the story, because the gameplay is super fucking unengaging, so you're just not excited by it. Like, this is not exciting to me. It's cool when it gets to a high level of strategy, you get a lot of items, a lot of skills, and shit like that, you get all these spells, and you gotta really plan what move you do next. Not a lot of games do that well, by the way, especially not the older ones. Gets better and better as time goes on, like all games, <laughs> pretty much. They get more refined in their concept, although you gotta love the classics. But, um, anyways, I digress. Yeah, not being able to read the story, or any of the text or dialogue for one of these games extremely hurts the rating for me. Which is why I'm comfortable along with the average sound and average graphics and everything else just being mundane. Confident giving this game a 1.5. It's just not... I'm not interested. I pretty much talked through this whole fucking thing about Neopets and shit because it's just not... <laughs> the game itself, like what do you say? It's a JRPG. So that should be an indicator of how engaged I would be. If I was actually playing this game all alone in my couch, I would not be sitting on the edge of my seat. But at the same time, it gets the 1.5, it doesn't get a 1 or a 0.5, because, you know, I would still play it. If I had nothing else better to do, there's just, yeah, that's the thing. If There's a lot of games I would put before it, but I would still play through this whole thing, or at least some of it to see, get to a boss, or see where it's going, or... <sighs> I'm... I might still play through it, I guess. But if there's the possibility. It's not unplayable. So, there you have it, folks. Thank you once again for joining me on this episode of Squiggy 7 First Impressions. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed recording it. You know how much I love this stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, have a great afternoon, and I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.